RNM Intellify, welcome to this introduction to RNM's Intelligent Infrastructure Management System. My name is Reinhard Burkert. I am the Product Manager for Automated Infrastructure Management at RM. In this part, we are going to have a look at the system operation and at the graphical user interface of RM Intellify. Now, here we see the graphical user interface of the client. The main view here showing us the network in a topographical fashion, multiple sites, connections in between. We can have maps in forms of bitmaps as a background. We also can use live GIS data as a map background. On the top left here, the location is tree, which shows us a hierarchical view of the network. The templates window, we have a large library of templates available on the system, which allows us to quickly and easily generate network models. Down here, the properties window, showing us object-specific information. And here, we have the connection trace view, which shows us the end-to-end -end details of a connection. On top here, the usual menu, guidance, and icons for rapid access to frequently used functions. Now let us drill down here. If we come, we can come to a building. We see one floor here, a line coming out of this building. We drill further down. We can open the office. For offices, we can have architectural drawings as background, allowing us to position exactly outlets, for instance, where they belong to. We can also open up cabinets. There are zoom functions which allow us to precisely visualize the configuration of each and every cabinet. We model down to the individual port, to the individual fiber. Ports are color coded, showing us at a glance are they occupied, if occupied, to which connection, in which connection they are involved, are they free. We can also have ports marked as reserved or as erroneous ports with different colors. Now let us see how RNM and Telify can automatically keep the network documentation up to date. Let's have a look at this model. At this port, I have a connection from this port to another patch panel in a different room to a switch. The port down here is connected to an outlet, again, in a different room. Now, if I add a patch cord between this port and this port, you see the two ports are automatically marked as used and the connectivity drawing has been updated showing that from this switch over this new patch cord we have now service to outlet NE8.